So next thing I want to do is a floor plan. If you do not have a layer for um, your clipping plane, you need to do one. The clipping plane is the knife that's going to cut your building so you can see a floor plan in a section. And I suggest that your clipping plane always be in black, black color. So I'm going to have to make a new layer. I'm going to, oh, I don't want it to be under that guy. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Right click and delete layer. All right. All right, so make new layer. I'm going to call it clipping plane. I'm going to keep it black. Let's make that clipping plane current. And go ahead in your maximize your perspective. Ooh, I think we've um, flipped our grid. We have to fix that. We flipped our grid. What's that? Have some of you done that as well? OK, we need to go to universal top. So I think that's underneath here. Um, set C plane, world top. We're back where we were. OK. If any of you all of a sudden see that cutting mat or that um, C plane that's got the grid on it and it's all messed up it's you know turned in another direction or something just go ahead and click back on that view and say set C, uh, set C plane and click on world top that's how you want it set okay let's check the other views if it's in world top and the other views yeah that looks right that looks right. Okay, they all look right. So maximize your perspective. Let's get back to the clipping plane. Let's go ahead and enter in the command line clipping plane. Okay. So um, I'm going to make a floor plan. And if you remember, the floor plan is a horizontal cut, right? Plan. That means flat. It's a plan. So I'm not going to click on vertical. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Later on, when we make the building sections, we'll click on vertical, so it turns vertical. All right? So let's keep that the way it is. You can make your clipping plane this big. <laughs> you don't need to, right? This is good enough. And you see how that plane is pointing downwards? That means it's looking down. That's what you want. I lift it. I start seeing a plan. I lift it a little bit more, see more of a plan. Lift it a little bit more, ah, now I have my building, right? That's what my floor plan looks like. I'll look at it in um, top view. So here's a little trick. Usually, I like to move my clipping plane from that corner to that corner, to the top of the floor where I'm standing. And then I'll move my clipping plane four feet up. Because typically, a plane is cut around four feet above the floor that you're walking on. So you can see windows. So you're, all of a sudden, your knife that is cutting the, the plan will also cut through windows. So you can see all of those at the same time. So I'm going to click on my clipping plane. I'm going to move it up four feet. There we go. Right? And remember your west facing window? Remember you've placed a west facing window that faces the west piece of art? The bottom of that piece of art was at four feet. So if I'm cutting my I'm doing my clipping plane at four feet, then I'm not gonna see that art piece. Some of you are gonna make that mistake. You said four feet, so we made it four feet. Okay, but I also said you wanna cut it. You want to be able to move it a little bit up, a little bit down between, on the four feet so you can see other elements that you've placed in your project. So you have to make that judgment. And I'm asking you to make it in this direction right now. Take it slightly above four feet so your floor plan also cuts through your west-facing window and your art piece. 
and whoever is looking at your floor plan can see the relationship between the window and the art piece. Important. Right? So I'm going to lift this guy up maybe another, I don't know, 12 inches. There you go. All right? So I don't see it on mine, right? Because I don't believe we imported that with us, right? But it's supposed to be, there's supposed to be a window here, uh, sorry, an art piece here with a window right here. Okay? Our wall art is not in there, but you should be able to see that. I want everybody. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Okay. Um, I wonder if on mine I didn't do it at four feet. I wonder on my if on mine it was um, slightly lower. I mean, slightly. Sorry, slightly higher. Please make sure that this is four feet above the ground. I will check for that distance because we talked about it on the whiteboard. We drew it. We discussed it, right? Okay. So I'm going to lower this so that my floor plan will actually show cutting through the art piece. I'm going to decide that this is my floor plan. See, it cuts right through the art piece. Perfect. I can move this guy out of the way now. I can go back to my four squares. Okay, select and top view. Oh, uh, the floor plan is going to be in top view, right? Because it's flat. But how come I don't see the clip? The clipping plane is in the same position. How come I don't see the plan? Select the clipping plane. Go to properties. Select the clipping plane property and say, hey, I want to see it in top view too. And then she shows up, right? Front view, right view. I want to see it in all the views. All right. You're good to go. Select in top view. Make sure that's selected. Then say, make 2D. Press enter. Keep all of this stuff the way it is. Say OK. Let's take it our look at our floor plan, and there's our floor plan. OK. Um, I don't know why our door didn't show. Was our door in the plan? Yes, it was. All right. So if it doesn't show in the floor plan, see, these are the stairs that we made. You enter like that. Um, also, our art wall did not show up. We definitely need for that to show up, right? It's supposed to be sitting right here, and it's supposed to be right here, and for some reason it did not show up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remake that 2D. Properties. There we go. That's there, that's there, yeah. Select from right to left. Actually, let's say make 2D first. Select from right to left. Press Enter. You want, to, you want to make sure that the uh, clipping plane is also eventually gives it a sub-layer. Let's try it again. And let's take a peek on what, it's, on, uh, what it did. Yes, it came back, all right? I think it was because I grabbed from left uh, to right. You really should grab from right to left. I don't know why it's quirky like that, but I think you should do that, all right? So I'm just going to, again, grab this guy move them to the right, move them down, and start stacking my drawings. Do I need to remind myself that this is the floor plan? 
possibly. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. And what happened to my text that was here? You it. I did? Yeah. You remember I did that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why didn't you say, hey, why are you doing that? You were, uh, in a, you were on a roll, man. Oh, okay, man. All right, so I'm just going to copy again. I'm going to say floor plan. I'm just going to call it FP. So FP is short for floor plan. All right, EE is short for exterior elevation. Okay, so how do you do a section, a vertical section? Should we do that in the next video?